welcome. This is the second bone I'm holding and this is uh, basically a bone of the upper limb. This is the humerus. It is the longest and largest bone of the upper limb. So if they ask you what is the largest bone of the upper limb, you will say this is the humerus. Now first of all, you should know how to hold it anatomically. This is the anatomical position of holding a humerus bone. Now side determination, whether it is of the right side or whether it is the left side. Very simple. You can see that this rounded head, this one, this one, it should be facing upward and medial. Then you have that the medial border, it should be facing towards the medial side of the body, means towards the body. And this one here, you have another tuberosity, this one, this is known as the deltoid tuberosity, it will be facing the lateral side. So by looking at these three points, we can see that the bone I'm holding, it is basically of the right side. If you follow these three points on your own arm, you can see whether the bone you're holding is of the right side or where it is on the left side. Now, let's study about the general features of the humerus. First of all, you should know that it consists of two ends. This is the upper end, this is the lower end, and in present between the two ends, this one is long, this is the shaft of the hand. Now let's study about the general features of this upper end. The upper end, you can see this one, this rounded part of the humerus, this is called as the head of the hand. And the line that is separating the head of the humerus from the rest of the humerus, this one. This is called as the anatomical neck of the humerus. Then it consists of two trochanters. One, this one, you can see this one. This is the greater trochanter that is facing anteriorly. Then on the lateral side, you can see there is another trochanter. This is called as the lesser trochanter. And in present between these two trochanters, this gap, this is called as the intertrochanter sulcus, as present between them. Now you can see that there is a very sharp depression in pre, uh, imaginary line you have to draw, which separates the upper end of the humerus from the shaft of the humerus. That is called as the surgical neck of the humerus. You can see this one labeled also as a. That was part of the upper end of the humerus. Now coming to this long elongated shaft of the hand. It basically consists of your three borders. This one, this one is holding the front one, this is called as the anterior border. The one that is along the head of the humerus all the way to the medial epiconda, this is known as the medial border of the humerus. And the one from here to the lateral epiconda of the humerus, this is called as the lateral border. And on the lateral side you can see that there is a tuberosity which is called as the deltoid tuberosity.